Good morning, everyone. Hi, I'm Kaz. So today we are at Popas Interment Campsite. So today is June 20th. That's a hot, hot morning. That's already like a 90 degrees. So today uh, we start the chanting with Jusege and uh, Three Treasures. Then uh, we have uh, Hotoke Sama, the dancing portion. Then uh, I will give a Dharma talk. Okay. So now we start the service from Topaz. Naman Davuts, Naman Davuts, Naman Davuts, Naman Davuts, Naman Davuts. Please, everyone, rise for the reading of three treasures from Topaz. Sarada, God. 
treasures fortunate is it to be born to human life now we are living it rare is it to encounter the teachings of the buddha now we hear it if we do not seek the truth of the dharma in this life in what life shall we find it let us reverently take refuge in the three treasures of the truth i take refuge in buddha may we all together absorb into ourselves the principle of the way to enlightenment and awaken within us our highest aspiration. I take refuge in Dharma. May we all together be submerged in the depths of the Dharma and gain wisdom as deep as the ocean. I take refuge in the Sangha. May we all together become unity in true accord, in a life of harmony, in a spirit of universal brotherhood, freed from the bondage of selfishness. Even through ages of myriad of carpers, hard it is to hear such an excellent, profound, and wonderful teaching. Now we are able to hear and receive it. Let us thoroughly understand the true meaning of Tathagata's teachings. Namo Amida Butsu. 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 Except the Dharma School students, please be seated. Now we have a dance time. Please wait. It's done. Hotoke sama. Yeah. Okay? Hotoke sama. Three, two, one. No, no. No, 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 sama, hotoke sama, watashi no suki na ka sama no omune no yo. No, 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 Sama, Hotoke Sama, Watashi no Sukina, To Sama no, O Te Te no Yo. Good morning everyone, 
Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for joining June 20th Central California Nishihon Ganji Combined Family Sunday and Dama School service from Topaz Relocation Campsite. First, my oldest daughter, Kanon, briefly introduce the background history of the Topaz Relocation Camp site. Then I will share the daily diary, which is written by third graders of Mountain View School at the Topaz Relocation Camp site. Canon, please introduce the background history. The Central Utah Relocation Center site, also referred to as the Topaz Relocation Center or Topaz, was located in the west central Utah, just north of the town of Delta and 140 miles southwest of Salt Lake City. Our family visited the small town of Delta yesterday and I learned that their main industry is agriculture. Topaz was one of the 10 relocation centers constructed in the United States during the World War II for the purpose of detaining Japanese Americans and people of Japanese descent. More than 11,000 people passed through the center and, at its peak, it housed about 9,000 internees. According to the 2020 U.S. Census, their current population is only 3,600. The, the town accepted huge Japanese American Nikkei population during the World War II. Today, the Central Utah Relocation Center, Topaz, site consists of two monuments, building foundations, roads, gravel walkways, agriculture buildings, portions of the perimeter fence, and landscaping. Construction of the 1,800-acre Central Utah Relocation Center began in July of 1942, continuing through January of 1943. The center was built in the severe desert in Central Utah, a dry, windy environment with harsh weathers that, that was entirely new to the internees, most of whom were from San Francisco, California area. The relocation center was initially named the Central Utah Relocation Center and then the Abraham Relocation Center before finally becoming the Topaz War Relocation Center named after nearly nearby Topaz Mountain. The Central Utah Relocation Center officially opened on September 11, 1942. The camp had one, a one square mile central area consisting of 42 blocks with 12 barracks each, housing 250 to 300 internees. Each block also had a re recreation room, combination washroom, toilet, laundry building, a central dining hall, and an office for the block manager. The barracks were constructed of pine planks covered with tar paper with sheetrock on the inside walls for insulation. Each barrack unit was simply furnished with pot-bellied stove, army cots, blankets, and mattress covers. The barracks were barely ready when the evacuees moved into the center and many of them helped to finish the construction and build their own future. Thousands of trees and shrubs were planted throughout the developed area of the camp and internees engaged in the extensive landscaping of barrack areas. The relocation center eventually consists of 623 buildings, including two elementary schools, one junior, senior high school, a hospital, a church, seven watchtowers, a perimeter fence, and a sentry post. The Daily Diary is written by third graders of Mountain View School at the Topaz Relocation Campsite in 1943. It has 72 pages long. There were 27 students in the grade, and everyone wrote their short stories in the daily diaries, and which is now is held by the University of Utah. I'd like to introduce some stories from the diaries. The first one was written on March 8, 1943. Yesterday, one of the third graders, Don, went to the gravel pit and found some topaz. Back in 2008, I first time visited 
topaz relocation camp with my wife. At the time, I found some gemstones on the ground. On the ground. So I wonder, oh, this is a place for gemstones. So then I wonder where the name came from. That the name is topaz. Then I researched it online. Then I found out the name came from the nearby mountain called Mount Topaz. So Mount Topaz is the territory of the federal government, and also the mountain is known for the treasure hunters, because the Mount Topaz, the people can discover topaz and crystals and other gemstones. So that's why the Don found、uh, some topaz in the gravel. Then originally the topaz relocation camp was named the. Central Utah relocation camp, but the post office、uh, complain about the long name. That's why they shorten Topaz. That's why the location relocation camp is known as Topaz. So that's they named change the name. The next diary was written on March eleventh, nineteen forty three, block three sixteen. Twenty two twenty third had no running water this morning because the water pipe broke at the high school ground. The people in these blocks went to other places to wash their faces and brush their teeth. So the Topaz relocation camp was constructed last in a short period. So many of the under Underground pipe and construction itself was not well constructed, so many of the location had the problems. So you know, in the back in the March, you know, sometimes they have a snow and so chilly cold, so easy to you know, wa- you know, pop water pipe breaks up. That's why a lot of people have a trouble and problems. But they they had the way. They just go nearby place and they. They borrow the water, then they could wash their face and their teeth. Third diary I like to share is on March twelfth, nineteen forty three. There are many people ill in Topaz with mumps, pneumonia, appendix, and cold. So we must take very good care of the, ourselves. So Topaz is known as the place for the very severe weather because the summertime they heat up to hundred degrees. So today, the you know we during the wild service, then temperature was ninety four, and later on up to like a ninety eight. The winter time, like I mentioned, that they have snowfall. So winter time down to thirties, so that's really cold. And sure, in the summer time they have a thunderstorm, lightning, and you know,、uh, heavy rains and so forth. So a lot of people had to live in severe weather, which is a place known as a topaz. That's a really severe weather. So that's why they had a、uh, lot of cold and also a lot. Uh, illness that people are、uh, suffered, and last one is on May third, nineteen forty three. Sunday there was a Buddhist parade. It is called a Hana Matsuri parade. So May third was Monday. In nineteen forty three, so it is conducted on May second. It is interesting because the usually the Hanamatsuri is conducted around、uh, April eighth nowadays, but back there in Topaz they conducted in May. So which is interesting. So a Japanese term gaman is widely known. Among Japanese immigrant and Nisei, the second generation of Japanese Americans, 
Originally, the term Gamman is introduced in Japanese Buddhism, and it meant conceit or vain. Gamman is derived from an Indian Buddhist term, Mana. Around 15th to 17th century in Japan, the meaning of Gamman was gradually changed to endurance and patience. During the life at the relocation camps, many Japanese Americans held the spirit of Gaman for their survival in the severe environment. So, as for instance, in Topaz, many of the people interned to the Topaz from San Francisco Bay Area, which is, you know, the whole year is a nice weather. I mean, the cold, colder weather. So they did not really have a severe weather, like 100 degree. So around about a three year, they had to live in the topaz with a thunderstorm and, you know, the, you know, snows and so forth. So that made them really had to have the capacity for gamam, which is a really the capacity for the endurance. And even after they were re released from the camp, even after they were released from the camp, they encountered the tragedy of losing their house and property, which were occupied by someone else. So basically, they lost almost everything. However, they rebuilt their life from scratch by dreaming their family's successful future. The following generation of Japanese Americans they were able to enjoy and appreciate their life because of their past generation's tireless effort. I am not Japanese American, but my grandparents who lived their 20s in 1940s, so there are uh, 20s in 1940s, taught me what Gaman is and its importance. So after the current pandemic occurred last year, I did not have much stress to deal with it because I did my gaman. Gaman can be translated as endurance or patient. It is just a knowledge of translation. But when we know what gaman is from their experience or our experience, we can understand much better about the meaning of Gaman and we can utilize it in our everyday life. Gaman is a very useful idea, not only for Buddhists or Japanese American, but also all people should know the idea. I hope many people will get the benefit from it. In closing, please join me Gasho. Namo Ami Dabuts Namo Ami Dabuts Namo Ami Dabuts Naman Dabuts Naman Dabuts Naman Dabuts Naman Dabuts Thank you everyone for joining uh, June 20th the CC Combined Sunday.